Hi, today I will build one interesting computer and I want to make a small movie about this because I think uh, this computer can be interesting for something other. Why this computer will be interesting? Because it will be a computer with uh, i3 on mini ITX board on really small, uh, really small and really smart board, motherboard. We will uh, take a look on board motherboard later. CPU processor will be Intel uh, i3 with uh, LGA uh, on LGA1155 uh, chipset. Uh, I will use GPU graphic card directly on uh, CPU. This computer will be without graphic card, dedicated graphic card, because it uh, will computer for only for browsing and for uh, for editing of a picture no for games <coughs> so mini ITX board uh, i3 CPU system will be on uh, installed on this SSD drive uh, RAM Corsair 8 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes uh, chips, really nice, really nice uh, fan, Noctua, for better cooling inside the box, uh, inside the case. For data, 2 terabytes hard drives, nice power unit Corsair uh, with uh, bronze star, and it means with uh, high efficiency, and with removable cables. And all it will be in a nice Elite 100 Panty case. Uh, this case is smaller uh, for mini ITX board. And the strawberries. Strawberries are uh, two uh, necessary accessories. The strawberries are for my camera girl, camera daughter. So I need the strawberries too. So. Let's we'll take a look uh, on the tile look on uh, components. So, motherboard. Motherboard with uh, Z77 chipset. A really small uh, and a really smart motherboard. Mini uh, ITX uh, with uh, nice elements and quality elements. Uh, PCI Express port for a dedicated graphic card. This computer will be without a dedicated graphic card. RAM positions, nothing special. On board are SATA 3 and SATA 6 uh, connectors. What is nice is uh, Wi Fi, integrated Wi Fi uh, with uh, N, Wi Fi N with two antennas. USB 3 ports, USB 2 ports, two, two HDMI ports for television or com uh, monitors, two HDMI, uh, one DVI, and two gigabit Ethernet cards or connectors. How you want. So, really small and really nice card. Card is with 3D. UEFI BIOS, really nice. So, on this motherboard will go Core i3 3225 uh, CPU. This is only two core, but uh, I think four threads CPU with integrated uh, GPU graphic card. Uh, what is, what is uh, interesting, this is only i3 but with uh, highest uh, Intel HD graphic cards with uh, HD graphic cards 4000. Yes, this is, this is I think uh, highest gra integrated graphic cards uh, by Intel. Fun, I will use uh, box set fun. Power unit uh, is nice, Corsair with removable cables. 430 watts and uh, this uh, power unit uh, 
uh, is designed or box is designed for for uh, power unit in this box with input on top side of of case yes top side of case is input of uh, air and output is in back side but i want turn turn uh, this power unit and i want input for air from inside of the case from space upper the cpu i know it's not ideal but i think temperature inside the case will be okay for life of uh, power unit and a uh, big hole on top side of case I will uh, remove or some tape or something similar because this is I think dangerous for some coffee or tea on top side of case hole on top side of uh, some hole on top side of case I think is dangerous I don't like it CPU TDP of CPU is maximum 55 watts. I think temperature will be nice. RAM RAM is Corsair 8 gigabytes. It means two 4 gigabytes chips, and this is only 1,333 megahertz. Clock nine. Because different between uh, this speed and between 100, uh, 1600 MHz, uh, different is really theoretically uh, nothing important for me. Because this will be a computer really only for browsing and looking on pictures from digital camera. This run. About hard drive. Hard drive. Somewhere here was. Yes. System will be on Kingston, 120 gigabytes on SSD. SSD now 200 CV plus. This is a good compromise compromise between price and uh, power. And data will be on two terabytes Western Digital hard drives, classic hard drives, but. I want to use these hard drives in mirror system. It means uh, I will uh, I will see only one terabyte uh, final capacity because I want to use uh, something like RAID mirroring. But I want to use mirroring in a Windows 8 because Windows 8 uh, has a new function mirroring directly from system in store you can set store space with more physical hard drives and you can set something like RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5 RAID. so let's go for putting motherboard on uh, putting CPU on motherboard
So how quick is this computer? So inside on SSD drive is uh, window, Windows 8. Uh, in case is uh, DVD ROM. It means about two seconds slower start. So Windows 8 uh, with installed complete Adobe CS6, Creative Studio Adobe, Creative Studio CS6, uh, some firewall, uh, some resident services like Steam and start button, start button for Windows 8 by, by start dock because uh, I need start button. So how quick will be start with this services. Power on. BIOS. And desktop. I think it's okay. You can see Windows 8 are really started. So, how quick or how works uh, integrated uh, graphic card HD4000 on Intel i3 CPU? HD4000, how works on a Crisis Warhead? So, Crisis Warhead. Of course, uh, we must uh, go down with details, with resolution, without any anti-aliasing. But uh, first time when I play uh, Crisis, Crisis One, I play it with same same speed on big dedicated graphic card, and now. It uh, works with the same quality on HD 4000. On graphic cards integrated on CPU. So, options, system settings, graphics, resolution 1366 per, per 768, something like old notebooks resolution without any anti-aliasing of course and everything is on gamer free fro from for of course this is too hard setting for HD 4000 yes but we will try it okay, any load <coughs> Any loads, uh, load position. Of course, any professional gamer or player can say, wow, it's horrible because I need all in maximum details. But many people say, okay, I want someone for solitaires in Windows and for any of my old, old school games. And for these people is integrated graphic on CPU. I think it's okay. Go go. So gamer. Gamer is too hard. For HD 4000, you can see textures are going slowly, but it's playable. Yes, it's playable. How I say, I remember on 80 ATI 4850, I played this game on same speed 
five or six years ago in time of first crisis yes so it goes with this quality on integrated GPU Intel HD 4000 on Intel i3 processor and when we change uh, when we change quality on lower level on uh, mainstream apply but we must restart the game When we change it on mainstream, I think it's normal slope game playing. Back to menu. Quiet. And again, start game. Oh. I'm too quick. Probably is not okay for crisis free. I have crisis free by it, and I don't know how it will be works on my old NVIDIA JT four hundred sixty with two gigabytes DDR five. I only make movie how it works. So options, system settings, advanced, mainstream all. So all is mainstream, same resolution, 1366 per 768. Mainstream, 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 apply. Single player, load game and same same game save position Nobody. So mainstream quality on Intel HD 4000. You can see it's normal slow. Normal without any problems. works so how you can see it works and one remaining one remaining remain one interesting thing how I say I use on Windows 8 system storage or uh, storage space storage space in English language because I have uh, Windows 8 in Czech language and I can't remember how it say in English language I think storage space so disk C is SSD drive Disk D, data mirror, is something like a RAID with mirror function, but directly in Windows 8. Look here, control panels, 
system storage space or something similar English language here storage space D and when I open it you can see it contains two physically drives with mirror function it means if one hard drive died nothing's happened I can buy new one terabyte hard drive and change it without any loss of data because data are on two drives identically sorry for my English how it works I I will try copy some files from D from this mirror drive Windows 8 mirror drive on SSD it goes on start about 180 megabytes per second and goes down about 100 megabytes it means it works I think nicely and when I check uh, when I check uh, processor consumption you can see CPU goes on 7 on or 8 percent during copying these files from Windows 8 storage space on on SSD 5% it's okay about 100 megabytes per second how I say processor is i3 two physically cores but four treats and how it will how it will write on this mirrored drive so I can copy same files on somewhere here so writing on this drive from SSD to mirroring drive mirrored drive from SSD to mirrored drive is again about 100 under 100 megabytes per second continuously again with from 4 to 7 percent of CPU consumption I think it works and it's nice you can easy without any rate on a motherboard uh, you can easy make a rate rate 0 or rate 1 or rate 5 and which advance is uh, <coughs> in comparison with standard rate if my storage space is without the space I just add, add new drive and I can uh, go go without any problems so that's all I will so I will show you how quick is restart. That's all. I think it's nice. I like Windows 8.